my mentality when I when I do start to be like, damn, this is a lot. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, you know, it's, that's what it's supposed to feel like. If if you are going toward what the vision look like, and that's like greatness. That's you know, on multiple levels. Mm-hmm. That's the vision that I'm working toward. So I'm like, I just think about that. Like this shit ain't supposed to feel. You know, comfortable. It's supposed to be uncomfortable. It's supposed to stretch you. It's supposed to be a burden to a degree. And you gotta, you know, wrap your mind around that and accept it and embrace it. And you catch some wisdom off of that. You know what I mean? I had to start this vlog because I'm a little nipsy on some motivation. How y'all doing today, vlog? I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. We're chilling. I'm about to go do some gorilla rolling. I'm about to have some fun. Wow, what's amazing? This girl is looking absolutely beautiful today. I'm flex zone, we're doing well. Stay positive, are you doing anything to put your mind to? Yes, sir. How oh, you are doing well. Let me know in the comments below how you're doing. Yeah. Let me know some things I should be, I, should, I could do for the vlog too. So I'm always looking for new ideas. I got, I got, I'm doing a little vlog idea shoot, so I got ideas. But you gotta keep on executing. Peace out, stay strong, keep doing your best. And remember, you gotta lose yourself to find yourself. I love you and I'm proud of you. Peace. Catch you in the next one. How are y'all today? We are having a wonderful day. I made some macadamia nut cookies as you can tell. White chocolate macadamia nuts. We know in the comments below, would you try these or no? You eat these? Like, what's your favorite cookie? My favorite is not really like my macadamia nut. Well, it might be. Probably oatmeal raisin or chocolate chip, but... Or Oreos. But these are infused with macadamia nut cookies. With the blueberry. The blueberry strain in there. Pretty fucking good. Use up the rest of my edible butter on these things. These, these are really good. I like the texture and the quality. Um, so yeah, we're gonna The one thing that was built like that I uh, fell apart because I had to move the tray Because the wire rack didn't fit in the The oven So I had to move the cookies from the tray To the wire rack in and out of the oven and when I moved them out of the oven the end one fell. So that's why that one was sideways. This one ended up pretty good. The cookies are really big on that one. And they're hot too. Yeah, they're perfect, bro. Like, also definitely recommend wire, wire racks. Like, them, them shits help cool your cookies down so nicely. And usually they fit in your oven. Mine just didn't. I didn't even know you could cook with wire racks. I thought they were just for cooling. I saw on a thing though that you can actually cook them. So that's cool. But it's all good. Trusty pan to the rescue. Fucking trusty pan. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, I just want to keep you updated. We're doing, yep, blueberry OG. Or blueberry, sorry. Blueberry infused. I don't know how much each edible is because I didn't measure how much butter I put in, but I probably assume these cookies around 40 to 50 milligrams. Probably. Maybe a little bit more. But yeah, we're very good. I had a half cookie and I definitely felt some effects, which I'm glad because I've been wanting to. They're fluffy. It kind of reminds me of like when I, um, my 2009, or, oh, not 2009, 2018, when I used to um, work in the mall, in May, or like 2016, 2017, 2018, that area, and I used to work in the mall, and I used to make like pretzels, and then you'd have a cookie shop, like right below, like we were on the second floor, uh, cookie shop like, right below on the ground level. I mean, you can always smell the cookies. That's what it smells like. I also smell like
Yeah. I give you a 10. It's 10. It's 10. Do you like really greasy? Because of the oil. They're yummy. They even really taste the weed. They, you really get that kick of sweetness. Like, it really helps it. Like, it really just tastes like a strong, strong macadamia nut cookie. White chocolate flavor. I would say I put enough, definitely put enough chocolate chip and nuts. Like, I put a good combination. I cut some of the nuts up and left them whole. Some of them whole. Some of them were chopped already, but. Yeah. Definitely would recommend trying this recipe. It's not a hard recipe at all. One of the easiest cookie recipes I've ever actually done. It took me like 20 minutes, and I mean, I whipped them up, and they were really delicious. Whenever I find edibles, like recipes, I like them to be super simple because I don't like to do a lot of work at. Because getting the butter prepared is already hard enough, so you want to do like a simpler recipe once your, your cookies or whatever you're going to do. Your butter is done, so whatever you make it into is easy to consume. Real talk though, once you get the butter, you can just put it on like a piece of toast. It's so dark. I just put the light into my plants. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go chill out, cool out. Let's see now this edible's cooking in about an hour. Took one of them so far, as you can see. Took one of them, so yeah. Let's see how they cook. I ate a smaller one too, so I didn't get a big one. But I wanna see how one of them feels. But yeah, I'm heading out. I'm about to go edit some more videos for y'all. And I'm gonna go outside too and take a walk. Have a great day. Peace out. I love you. Spread love. Enjoy every single day. Remember, my fucking day. Remember, you're limitless. Do anything with your mind. You stay positive. Today's been a very good day. Yesterday was a great day. I fixed my um, camshaft sensor on my car. So that was hard. But cool. It's supposed to be easy as hell, but it was actually hard as fuck. But let me not lie. But yeah, that's how it be. Go check out my Twitch if you haven't already. Logos TV. Twitch.tv slash Logos TV. I stream all the time over there. I got tons of new content coming. Have the most wonderful day. Peace out. Remember, you can do anything you put your mind to. You're limitless and amazing. You deserve the best and nothing less. And all your dreams are coming true. Your impact is huge. I love you. And have a great day. Stay hydrated. Peace. I'll catch you in the next segment. Yeah. Yo, I love Norfolk, but they might have just they might just pissed me off. While I go outside, I'm trying to go to my local Farm Fresh, and I'm trying to get some good old vegetables and fruits and healthy water for my body and all I'm hearing in the background is a motherfucker yelling talking about weed is a gateway drug you know how much that pissed me off bro I want to go up there so bad and just yell at him and be like look bro you tripping <laughs> like, like you actually tripping that's like saying you if you that's like look, look, think about it like this let's say avocados were illegal right let's just say let's just say avocados made you high right let's say they did right but that'd be like you going to pick an avocado or you going to it like you going to invest an avocado, right? Let's say you want to go buy a zip of avocado, and you getting that's like saying you bought an avocado and it's a gateway to drugs. <laughs> like, bro, what you realize meth is synthetic, right? Just putting that out there. Same thing with literally almost all of big pharma, and that's what no one talks about either. Is big pharma is responsible for 80 percent, 80. 80% of drug users. 80. One, four out of five, four out of five, four, four out of five of most people who are addicted to drugs are because they got cut off on their oxycodone or their heroin or their weapon. You're gonna sit here and tell me. You're gonna sit here and preach and make this big thing and make this huge event at the beach. Oh, we're gonna tell them today. Oh, we're gonna tell them how these that's weed is the is the devil, bro. No, bro, you're fucking tripping. You're high. If you go up to a mother nature and kiss a tree, even if you got high from that tree, it'd still be a tree from mother nature. Do not disrespect that shit. Same thing with weed. Do not disrespect me. That shit pissed me off. It's like you disrespected me. It's like you disrespected my heart. It's like you disrespected my planet because everything on this planet is just as good as and equal and amazing as me. So when you say something like that, it made me want to go smack the shit out of you. <laughs> You know, also, if you, whatever your political is, don't give a fuck. I'm not political, so I ain't gonna get in political with you. But I don't like when people are disrespecting certain aspects of life, especially when we're all just living and having a great time. There's no need for it. No need for it. I'm sorry. Everyone's at the beach. They're not worried about who, who their uncle smoking weed. They're not worried about their kids smoking weed. They're worried about having a great time and live, living their day off. It's a Friday night. Let it go. All right, thanks. That's my little statement for you. And honestly, just... I just, that baffles me, bro. It baffles me, bro. It really does. Because it's like, 
Y'all is the drug problem. I mean, big Pharma is the drug problem, but then they're gonna send people out to tell people that that's not the drug problem. Like, oh, what well, this kind of seems like, huh, I don't know, what they did in World War II called propaganda when they actually went out and put posters up to make you think of something like somebody was the enemy. Kind of like reverting your eyes to actual who the true enemy was. Yeah, I know. It's because they've been doing the same shit for hundreds of years, bro, and they act like they can brainwash us, bro. Stay focused, stay positive, and remember, stay awake. That's what's important. <laughs> Here, that's exactly why they do that, because they want them to feel bad about themselves. And that's the saddest part about it. They want them to feel bad about themselves for healing themselves. That's crazy, bruh! So just cause, so just don't let a motherfucker with trauma try to tell you how to fix your trauma. For real. And don't ever let somebody who put you in that situation tell you how to feel. And don't ever let nobody tell you how to feel in general. Cause your vision is brighter than anybody else's vision. I don't care what anybody says. I, know, I guess to me, it just kind of like, they're taking shots at my lifestyle. So it kind of makes me like want to retaliate. But then again, I think about how sad their life must be. Because that's how they think. I just feel bad for people like that. I hope they live all their dreams too. I want them to live the best life. And I just feel bad that they've been brainwashed to such a standard by the American media. Y'all, it's literally it's legalized. And y'all are still talking about it like it's like the worst thing in the world. Like the fuck? But that's why I just want to, this, this point of this, this point of the whole, whole spiel was just to let you know that don't let anyone judge you and take you and put you in a position you're not. And don't try to make any, you know, don't let anybody make you feel any type of way because you are beautiful just the way you are. Whether, you, whatever you do, you know, you don't, there's no definition of normal. There is no definition of beauty. There is just you. You exist and that's beautiful. There's nothing to else to it. If anybody else tries to play you at the position, they're obviously unhappy and jealous. So don't even listen to them. So that's what I had to say. It's all love. Spread love and joy every day. Make people smile. No spread hate. Just motivate. I love you and I'm proud of you. Peace out. Say smile. Say something. Shine and keep growing and growing. I love you. Bye. What's going on, vlogs? We got the chicken and waffles. Let me know what y'all smash in the comments below. And we got some homemade peanut butter. So yeah, just want to see what the hell's going on. Good little meal today, September 4th. Monday, Labor Day. Hope y'all are treating yourselves well. Keep doing your best. Love you and I'm proud of you. Yeah. Finna eat, finna grub. Yes sir, finna be smacked. Let me know some recipes I can make on the channel. But yeah, chicken waffle is real simple. But really delicious too. Yes sir. Today, we have another special video. Today we're going to be making cheesecake, caramel cheesecake bites. Edible edition, so you know they're going to be hidden. So, let's see how to make these shits. So, we need two cups graham cracker crumbs. So, let me get all the ingredients. I went to the store the other day and bought all the ingredients for these shits. So, I got my graham crackers. Bang. One tablespoon sugar blend. They want you to use the Truvia sweetener. I don't use sweetener, I use sugar, so I'll just, I'm using the brown sugar. Um, one fourth cup plus two tablespoons salted butter melted. Probably gonna be using more butter than that as well. Um, four eight ounce packages reduced fat cream cheese. Damn, I thought I needed one of them shits. I had one, I didn't have four. I might have to go get the recipe, bro. Four, eight out. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go get some more, bro. One half cup true Truvia sugar brown blend. Yeah, so two tablespoons of flour, one half cup of sour cream, one tablespoon of vanilla extract, three eggs, one half bag caramels. Damn. Yo, I'll be right back. I gotta go back to the fucking store, bro. I didn't even know. I didn't know I needed four of them shits. God damn. Damn. I need four of these. I have one? <laughs> like, this is an eight ounce package. This is gonna be a lot of calories, yo. Hold on, I might not, I might not, I might, might make something else. Cause this is a, is a hundred calories. 
just for an eighth of it. So one ounce of this is 100 calories, right? So they want you to put four eight ounce packages. So this is 800 calories, right? So four of these is 3,200 calories for this. Yeah, this size is a good, this is a good size, but this is how big it is. I guess that makes sense. That's pretty big. And they are bites, they're not like, damn though, I don't know. I think I will make them, but I might make a smaller batch, is what I'm gonna do. I really think I can do it with just, with just this one thing of fucking cream cheese. So what I'm gonna do is, we're gonna, we're gonna do a little change of plans. We are gonna do a half recipe. Yeah, one piece is 320 calories. That's without the sugar shit. That's without, that's without sweet, that's without, that's with the sweetener. So, since these bites are so decadent, I'm actually gonna make a smaller pan. And, but I do have to go to the store and buy one more box of cream cheese so I can make a smaller one. Because I'm just gonna make a tiny guy, which will be half. So that'll be one cup of graham crackers, half a tablespoon, a cup of butter, basically. Two packages of that. Because that way, at least it's not like super... I don't want it to be the most fattening edibles in the world. Like, I eat these shits pretty, like, a lot. So I don't want it to be, like, super fattening and it just fuck up my whole day if I eat two or five of them. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, that that's not great. Because if they're 320 calories each, that means I can eat one of them shits. I'm going to have to, like, super infuse them. Damn, I was excited to make this video too. I did not know there were that many calories though, and I did not know I didn't have the ingredients. I read this before, I just didn't read it right. I didn't, I just, I, th I thought it said one eight ounce packaging. So, yeah, we're just gonna half it then. Yeah, I was gonna, I was looking at it like maybe I could do it with one, but I'm definitely gonna need two. Definitely. So yeah, I'll catch you guys once I get the uh, other cream cheese. Can't wait to make this. It's just gonna be great. Still gonna be amazing. That's not the point. But it is gonna be a little different. You know what I can make in the meantime? Because I think I'm gonna have extra caramel. Now that I'm looking at this recipe. Because it said half a bag. I have two bags of caramel. So. We're gonna make some caramel box. What's your favorite song right now in the comments? I've been fucking with some Mac Miller. So all his songs just have been hitting. So we're just doing a double boiler. We got the mason jar. Put it in the the the, the water. Like so. As you can see. And then you just put the caramel and the oil inside the jar. I'm not gonna add a lot of caramel again, I, I do wanna save this, but I know I'm gonna have extra. And I, I'd actually like to try some caramel uh, edibles, just like regular caramel bites, so why not, right? It smells good already. Maybe little caramel bites in there. I feel like caramel is easy to make. I think it's all it is is sugar. So technically, you can just make your own caramel. I just bought the mag the wax. I like making the the wax melting shit. Like that's just my little specialty is buying those little melting things. 
this is like the this is like the super secret easy way to make edibles. Like that takes like five minutes once you make the butter. Butter. It's your gas. This is the Mendo breath. Edibles. Taste it. Train review. Let's get a damn good close up. How about that? Gooey. It's shit falling everywhere. It's all good though. Like, go crazy with it. <laughs> well, sandwich. But yeah, that's what we got popping right now. <laughs> so I'm gonna be using like basically a fourth like this corner so <gasps> So as you can see I just use that top corner. And I'm, I'm probably gonna save the rest for... Add up like just the cheesecake, but I might... I'm also gonna add... Since I put a little too much butter, I'm adding about a little more of the bag. So there's about, I would say probably like a fourth of the bag left. Maybe a third left of that bag. So I use two thirds of the bag. But there's there's like a lot. Like if you can see that, like there's a lot going on in there. So that'll mix up real nicely. Get good. Best way to mix things, I, I, dude, these right here, little like guys at Walmart you get, like these little fuckers, these little spatulas, I love these spatulas. Silicone spatulas are always a must. I will say one thing, these hoes do not melt like the chocolate does, unless that and my burner was just off the thing, that's why it's taking so long. I forgot to wait until the water heats up, so I would recommend that you wait until the water starts boiling to actually even put in your shit. But if you wanna do it low and slow, that's fine too. Cause honestly I have to wash shit, or wash dishes. I'm gonna wash out my molds real quick. So yeah, I'll catch you guys after I wash the molds and put it in the molds, and we'll catch you back and see how they're looking. That'll be super fucking good. It is getting right. It's getting sticky. That's for sure. God, this shit is sticky, sticky. Yeah, it's getting right down there. I see it. So we'll give y'all time lapse. Sorry my pot is so dirty. This is literally my <laughs> this is my double boiler pot because like, I've ruined this this little this poor this poor pot. Look at that. It's getting real gooey in there. I can't even fucking turn it. Yeah, that, that thing is gonna that that shit is gonna be potent, bro. As soon as your water starts boiling, turn that, turn that shit down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, make an executive, executive decision to go ahead and use the rest of these caramels too. Cause there's literally weed already floating to the top. Damn, 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 they're going everywhere. Hold up. Oh, it's okay. Some of them went in there, but it's okay. I don't know if this is gonna be able to come out of this jar, but we're gonna hope it does. Like I said, this is like literally jammed in there, man. Yeah, that was definitely necessary because the weed butter is still melting in there. I might try to make those caramel cream bites one day. Like those little cream, like with the cream in the middle. I'm sure that would be super easy to make. Because I've made that cream before. Ooh, that caramel is smooth right there, boy. Should I add some white chocolate to it? 
Doesn't really seem to be grabbing the butter very well. That's one thing I will say. Like, there's a lot of butter just floating around in there. All right, so the best way they said to, to cool this was to not even use the molds. Well, well I was used to using molds because I used chocolate. But the best way they said to do this was to use a pan. God damn, that shit looks potent. I think I'm gonna go ahead and add the white chocolate and see if that if that adds some you know cool recipe, you know. This is we're just experimenting right now. We're just spitballing, shooting. Cause there's way too much chocolate floating around. I feel like I've had this chocolate in there. I have nothing to do. Oh shit! Had nothing to put it in. Get out of there before it melts. Got it. Yeah, I'm gonna use about half this chocolate bar, and that should be good. Cause I don't need any more than that. Then again, that shit is not really... There's so... Bro, you don't understand. There's so much butter just floating. I'm not wasting that butter. Like, I'm not letting it just sit there. So I have to throw the rest of the shock bar in there. I feel like it'll be literally so aesthetic looking once I dump it in there. Because it'll be like a swirl in that shit. Alright, so once all that white chocolate melts in there i give it like five minutes so yeah it's gonna be fire it's a white chocolate caramel bite dude that sounds amazing the white chocolate is definitely helping it mix i will say that and that is helping a fuck ton because it was really sticky it looks really yummy it looks like a fucking macchiato look it just looks crazy. Worst case scenario, this is either going to be like really disgusting or great because it's either just going to. I, actually, I think I know what's going to happen. I think all the white chocolate is going to melt, all going to go on the bottom, and then it's just going to be like a caramel top, which is going to be so yummy. I'm going to give it a mix for about two more minutes, and then we're going to go ahead and dump it out. Turn the heat off on that. We're gonna go wash off our pan and then dump it in there. It said use a nine by 13, but I'm gonna use my smaller one because I don't have all that, I don't have all that room in my fridge to be doing all that. Okay, now I gotta put on a little thing so I can hold this. We're gonna go ahead and switch. Go and then see we got that really nice and incorporated. This reminds me of when I used to make rice. This is basically the same way to make Rice Krispies. <laughs> if you wanted to know. Also, the thing isn't really that hot on the bottom. The jar, so that's nice. You just want to spread it around as even as possible. You gonna pop this in the fridge to dry for however long you prefer. I believe you have to wait like 30 minutes at most. Maybe an hour, probably 30 minutes. I'm trying to get the rest that lives in this jar. Uh, also, if you use this method, don't throw your mason jar right back in the, the cold or whatever because it'll crack because it's glass. Made that mistake way too many fucking times. Literally do it nearly every time I make shit. Okay. That's about it. I mean, I, the rest of it stuck, stuck the hell in there, so. 
just gonna have to let it go. I'm gonna let that sit over there. Let's go ahead and pop this in the oven and we'll also give it a little taste test because there's some right there. Mmm. The whites only give it a weird consistency. A weird consistency. But we'll see how they turn out. They're definitely pretty strong though, because I can definitely taste them. So that's cool. I'll get back to you when they're done. Peace. Now it's been about an hour. See the green in there. It's gonna be pretty interesting to see how strong these are. I don't know if they mix that well then if I'm seeing green on some edges and not seeing green anywhere else. But we finna cut them and see how it goes. I just wanted to keep you updated. It's pretty good. Alright. Now we have the pan cut as you can see. So yeah. Grab the old spoon that we originally mixed everything up with. That's what it's looking like. Give it a good old taste test. Okay. It tastes um exactly like those um caramels with the cream in them. <laughs> it just doesn't have like the the same texture, like the same look. But that's how they do it. They just take white chocolate and put a swirl in the middle or some shit. God damn, shit's going everywhere. Pretty damn good. It's a nice have a super chocolate. I'm so used to eating chocolate. Basically, get that corner out. It tastes super strong. Um, on a scale of one to ten, probably give them like a eight. Kind of sad for us. I would definitely give this recipe a try. I'll give this recipe a try if you like those caramels with the white cream in the middle. I would also give this recipe a try if you like caramel. You don't have to add the, the white chocolate, but you can. That's gonna be your end product. It still looks really good. But yeah, that's that video. I hope you enjoyed. Have a wonderful day. Stay positive. Remember you can do anything with your mind juice. <clears throat> Peace out. I love you and I'm proud of you. That was a great video. I did want to see. Those things are definitely pretty strong. I can definitely feel it kicking in already. I know edibles don't, don't do take longer, but you can definitely still feel it if you're used to it. But yeah, camera battery's done. I'm heading now. I hope you enjoyed this little segment. And I'll um, let you know when I make those cheese bites. Those cheesecake bites. Probably won't be until after I make, until after I eat those caramels now because that's the pan I was going to use, but it's okay. Say hi, Andrea. You're amazing, bless. I love you and I'm proud of you. Keep going. Never stop. Don't give up on your dreams. You can live all your dreams. I believe in you, and I know you can do it. Just believe in yourself. Take the leap. And um, you'll be proud of yourself. Confirmation, Burp. Keep going. Stay growing and grinding. Stay smiling. Stay shining. That's how we do it. Peace. Have the best day. Remember to follow my Twitch. Leave a like and comment if you enjoyed. And stay positive. Remember you can do what you want to. I love you and I'm proud of you. Don't really think you're doing your best. Um, stay motivated, stay grinding, stay smiling, stay, you keep loving yourself. Do your daily affirmations, 3 in the morning, 6 in the middle of the day, and at night, keep doing your best. Manifest things you want in your life because you deserve it. You're a dream. You're one of a kind. Never give up and uh, keep chasing what you love. But actually, let, let what you love come to you because that's how we attract. We attract. We don't chase. We attract. Peace. We thrive. We never. Everything is always getting better, never getting worse. Be comfortable with the emotions you've been holding back on yourself and 
get comfortable being uncomfortable. Let your let your vibe speak for yourself. Don't you have to explain yourself to nobody. Be yourself to the fullest. Love what you love. Keep doing what you do. Never stop grinding. Never give up on your dreams. And never stop believing in the number one person who always has your back. Yourself. Thank <laughs> you.